that Angelina Jolie has everything? Well, she certainly snagged Brad Pitt, but even she couldn't escape the potentially deadly disorder of preeclampsia when she was pregnant with her beautiful twins. So what is this horrifying disease that even one of the sexiest, richest, and most famous women in the world can't avoid? Well, preeclampsia is a disorder where mum suffers from dangerously high blood pressure during pregnancy. It has no known cause and can strike any pregnant woman as unexpectedly as a bolt from the blue, which is how it was first described by the ancient Greeks over 2,000 years ago. And yet, to this day, it has no effective cure. The only way to save mum from developing seizures and eventually dying is basically to deliver the baby far before it is due and completely remove the placenta from inside of her. Now, the placenta, or afterbirth, is an amazing organ that anchors the baby to mum and nourishes it throughout pregnancy. A healthy placenta is absolutely necessary for a healthy pregnancy. Now, normally during pregnancy, large clumps of dead placental cells, called syncytial knots, are shed straight into mum's blood. Usually, these don't have any effect on mum. In fact, they actually help her to recognize the baby as part of her own body and not as a foreign object. Some, sometimes, however, in some pregnancies, Mum can produce certain inflammatory factors that cause syncytial knots to become more toxic to her. Now, some scientists, and by that I don't mean just me and my supervisor, <laughs> believe that these toxic syncytial knots could cause a further inflammatory reaction in mum, giving rise to even more toxic syncytial knots, and eventually leading to a kind of vicious cycle or a catch-22 situation, the end result of which is high blood pressure and preeclampsia. So my research specifically looks at how mum's inflammatory factors change the genes and proteins expressed in syncytial knots. I'm also looking at the effects of these changes in syncytial knots on mum's immune system during pregnancy. So to actually collect these syncytial knots, I use a micromanipulator, which is a fancy pants device that's mostly used in fertility clinics to create test tube babies. Um, and this is something that nobody in the world has ever done before not to talk myself up too much or anything, <laughs> but I'm actually working on a completely new protocol. Um, so, so far, my research has shown that mum's inflammatory factors cause changes in 118 different genes. Now, these gene changes could upset the delicate balance required to maintain a normal, healthy pregnancy, causing harmful reactions in mum, eventually leading to high blood pressure and pre <laughs> So why am I doing all this fantastic cutting-edge research looking at genes and proteins and what have you? The answer is pretty simple. My work could help to identify new therapeutic targets and develop a cure for preeclampsia that doesn't put either mum or baby at risk. My research has one single goal, and that is to contribute to understanding the cause of preeclampsia. Understanding the cause of preeclampsia will help us to better manage this disease that doesn't just affect Angelina Jolie, but affects almost 9 million women and their babies worldwide, year after year after year.